What is up, Beard Nation? Alec from Beard Collectibles here, coming to you with our episode eight podcast. I'm here with Tony, my co-host of this uh, podcast. Uh, go ahead, Tony. Hi, guys. Got Josh, one of the locals here. He's known here by the Asian. A- or ninth a- place. Ninth or ninth place. place. <laughs> and we have our resident mute here, Khalid. Yep. That's all Khalid's going to say. He's also Khajiit. <laughs> <laughs> Geez, so one thing I want to talk about first, guys, can we all take a moment of silence for a delay for Final Fantasy? Another month? Yeah. Another month? I like how you just talk about how shitty Final Fantasy is doing on the podcast. And Square Enix, why? Well, I mean, I really want the game to succeed. I really, like, it's, it's a fun gameplay. Yeah. Um, I think it's really crappy on how they're handling the Opus 4 pre-release. Well, Let, I mean, let's, let's, the problem is Square Enix is a video game company. Well, I, I, I get that, but remember, they're not doing the pre-release here in the States. It's a distributor. Or distributor. And what I mean by that is, so so guys, so if you guys don't know, tell your LGSs to go talk to their talk to their distributor because there's a Google form out there that they have to sign up for the pre-release. This was never sent to me. Luckily, a, a, a person on the Final Fantasy uh, US page sent it to me. I contacted my distributor. They didn't know what the, what the fuck it was. They didn't know what it was about, but they said you should sign up for it. And my my response was, you just told me you didn't know what this was. I'm not gonna put my information in this, and then yeah. and, and it's it's just a Google form. Like, why is yeah. my account so negative right now? <laughs> <laughs> no idea. Yeah, but they, they're not asking for social or anything. But I, I just I hope I get it. I mean, I just wish that there's an email sent out. If there's an email sent out, you know, if there's other stores that listen to this podcast, please enlighten me. Let me know because I haven't received shit. So going back to what I was saying. Like, the reason I think the game isn't being more successful is because of the way it's being ran. And and part of it comes down to us as players all the way back in set one where there was no pre-orders. Set two, we had crappy pre-orders. And that's going to be a way any company's going to gauge. A card company will figure it out and they'll make it happen. But Square Enix, I mean, they're not a card company. I mean, so even without the pre-orders, like, I I was buying them cards off of eBay for, like, jacked-up prices because they only printed one set for the right, first Right, right, but what I'm saying about pre-orders is, it's like, oh, like, 100 people wanted boxes. Yeah. Because nobody wanted to pre-order. The company didn't know what stores wanted. Exactly. Suddenly, we're like, oh, there's two more zeros at the end of those boxes, and we don't have them because the company's not going to print 100,000 boxes for 1,000 dudes. Exactly. So, guys, pre-orders is very important. Um... I uh, here are bearded. I'm not taking any pre-orders until I get my numbers. I've been burned with Opus 2, Opus 3. I won't be going down that road ever again. So um, allocations happen, uh, but I can guarantee you that uh, my number is pretty big. Let's see if it actually works out and I actually get that allocation. Because if it does, uh, I'm going to need people to buy because that's going to be a big number <laughs> for me to give. So look at me. <laughs> I'm too Asian for that. <laughs> With that being said, like I said, I just want to give a shout out to Final Fantasy because, like I said, it's, it's an enjoyable card game. Um, if you don't know about it, contact your LGS, pick it up there. Like I say, guys, always support your LGS, otherwise support the beard. Um, so that's that's that. So we are going to next jump into the next topic of set two blue cards for the new Dragon Ball Super game, guys. Yeah. What do you guys think about these cards? Let's be real. <laughs> How are we ever going to make it through and actually swing? <laughs> like, how are we ever so, getting an attack through? <laughs> I agree with that. But so, go ahead, Tony. I'm really disappointed that Blue was the first preview because it is the strongest yeah. element by a pretty decent margin. Yeah. That's my issue because Blue is, I feel like it's too strong. Well, it, I mean, it is. It's better than everything else. Yeah. It's hard to play any other color effectively, and most decks that are winning are Blue X or. Some are even still mono blue. Exactly. I'm not saying it's all that's winning. Yeah. Obviously, red still does well. But like, look at I feel yellow. like red yellow is the only like viable deck that we've seen that can actually do anything without having blue splat. Well, here at locals, yes. Yeah, and even that, like, I, I mean, I will be a perfect example. I mean, you saw like a t- the, some of those games are rough. You know what I mean? The colors are just off, and you just like I feel like it whips a hell of a lot more than mono blue Vegeta or green blue Vegeta. That's that's fair because I mean they're. You know, I'm I'm surprised that um, there's not more uh, kind of like a Broly control control the hand discard like a blue a green blue. 
Yeah. There's there's some out there. I've seen decent ones. Even yeah. Ones that even win. People play them here occasionally. Yeah. I tried it out. I mean, I know I've topped at least once with Green Blue Vegeta trying to run the Broly yeah. engine. But that was like, I also whiffed like <laughs> turn one Broly three games in a row. So well, it's like, nope. Eh. I think he's talking about use Broly to control the hand and play Beerus. Exactly. exactly. It does yeah. happen. And I mean, um, what was it? Uh, Nick was doing that all day. But I don't think he was playing the Beerus. On mm. a Saturday, I was super would play the beer. Oh, dude, and that was I, that's what Fishman? I was saying. Like Fishman, dude, like at, the game was obvious. Hey, his. Fishman, I know you're gonna listen to this podcast. <laughs> Don't be a scrub. Yeah, <laughs> uh, shout out to Fishman for <laughs> wrecking ninth place round one this Saturday. <laughs> yeah, Josh got just got seventeenth yeah, oh, yeah. or whatever. Oh yeah, we're talking barrel rape, people. Um. Like, it was bad. It was bad. <laughs> so, so the game was his by like turn three. But even with that said. It, when he started dropping the Broly's, my hand was just gone. Yeah. And it precededly, he would hit me, get me cards, and then immediately drain them. So I had no hand the whole time. And if he had the Beerus at any point, my whole field would have been I gone. also feel like, like Broly right now is so underplayed because everybody's just net decking Vegeta. And remember, just go back to net decking. Yeah. Play your, play your cards. Yeah. Learn them. Understand them. Um, I don't know. i just not a fan of net decking. I like to see the yeah. interactions. Um, but... Can we can we circle back and talk about how uh, somebody was able to drop a a uh, twelve drop wheeze on Castle? <laughs> I did not witness this. Yeah, Castle he he's, he he won when it when uh, when the game first came out. Right, I was running SPR month. SPR month meant that I gave out one SPR per week to the winner. Castle won two of them. Then we went to Gen Con, and then he took vacation um, from. So he didn't he didn't come back to uh, to do a, a three peat or even a four peat. Um, but he's he's also testing new decks out, which yeah. I like to see. I like to see people test new decks and stuff. And I don't know what happened because he was playing like in the other room. But uh, yeah, I mean, somebody supposedly dropped a twelve drop. It in. happens. It happens. I mean, he's an innovator. That's definitely for sure. Because I mean, I've seen a lot of the. I want to say the meta and just like cards that are actually played and how they're played. At least what I've taken from has been from like you guys, Castle, like uh, Tim when he came around with that. I, I don't even you know where Tim is right now. He, he dude, could, he, he <laughs> quit. So happy about that. <laughs> he, he he quit Dragon Ball and went to Dragon Ball. So oh no, Ew, what? I love yeah. him. he was a great guy, man. It was just you know he just destroyed me every time <laughs> on turn two so, with. Yeah, he he has a <laughs> he has a two face. Facebook accounts. One is his personal. One is his like his, you know, for for train car communities. And he updates his last. Well, he updates his last name with the game he's playing. So it went from uh, uh, Kajudo to Dragon Ball Super now to Dragoborn. Wow. And so it's Dragoborn. Yeah. Dragoborn. Yeah, oh, how no cool. <laughs> um, so the game is like some of the sweetest art, really. But I tried to play it. And well, we tried played, it here. Yeah, the more I played it, the more I was like, this is bad. And I've only got two people that are interested in playing that, and they're like, hey, look, is that Goku? And then that's where it's going. <laughs> that's that. where it ends. <laughs> <laughs> that's really where it is. That's the right train to get on right but, now. She's in the hyperbolic time chamber. But, just like that. but you know what, what, what Castle probably wanted after somebody dropped that 12 drop? He probably wanted a peel off in his hand. Yeah. But peel off is set too. Oh my god, that peel off is so good. That's I'm so version. happy about peel off. Yeah, because it's, 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 it's a counter. It's a counter. So it is my favorite. No, it's a counter attack though. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, yeah. I guess you negate the quadruple strike? Negate the skill. Yeah. What skill? It already triggered. The quadruple strike. I actually oh, yeah, don't I think that works on Whis. I believe Whis reads his attack and skill cannot be negated. Oh, is that what it says? I'm pretty yeah. sure Whis specifically does. Yeah. That. I'm Damn sure it, the only thing you can do to Whis is crusher ball him. But even then, if you're running Whis, which you're only running in Beerus, you'll get the extra turn. So it doesn't really matter. They're getting hit with four no matter what, regardless of if they have crusher. Let's find out because I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure you're you are correct. Yeah. Because I'm pretty sure Weiss is the one, the one and then, right? yeah, Crusher Ball stops everything. I wish Weiss was... I mean, I thought Weiss yeah. correctly. Like, this search is not working on their site. Yeah, Crusher Ball stops everything except Raging Cat. Hey, Bandai, uh, I don't know if you're listening. Uh, your site is not working for the search. Uh, please get that fixed. Did you imagine if Bandai's actually listening? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to get an email be like... they uh, got their own people on the deep web. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to get an email saying, Beard, uh, we need you to calm that down, sir. <laughs> sir, Calm your tits, sir, please. Do all the set one leaders have no text boxes? Just sweet, like, text on the card like that? No, no, no. Let me Those see. look pretty cool. Like, like full art. I'm just looking at it right now. Like, there's no text box. Those look pretty full art. Also, there's, like, full art. Well, I mean, he has it. Yeah, other well, than, like, it, that Goku right there. But he's also a rare versus not a rare. 
That's fair. That's fair. Um. Oh yeah, because it is that way. I just never noticed it. Uh, well, not really. You see the text box on Goku. I don't know. The, the search ain't working, so I'm just gonna look because I have the thing right here, man. I mean, there is. Oh, there we go. There is a tab thing called Google. Yeah. It. You know, you are right. There are images <laughs> on the internet. Here we go. Yeah, this car's attack and skill cannot be negated, so yeah. peel off does not peel stop off that. Doesn't do anything. Wow. And I also think that it's uh, kind of relevant that we're talking about Whis right now because with all of the negates and counterattacks, I mean, with Xenobot peel off, like the one I think one of the uh, one of the new Whises himself is a negate, or he's another blocker. It just has so much ramp and stall that I feel like we're going to be seeing a lot of Beerus or and a lot of Beerus Whis. What I'm worried about is still the 30 minute time limit. If the games are going to start going like that. I feel like they want to yeah, well, hopefully down. you have opponents with Anna, and they will just give you the match instead of make you get a double well, let, loss like a scrub. Well, let's hope that they, they don't fully implement 25-minute for OP. Because when they did that at Gen Con, I was not a fan. Yeah. It's like you still you need those extra minutes. And it's funny because um, one thing I've been, I mentioned on Saturday. Hey, were you here on Saturday? Yeah. Okay. Did you hear what I said I wanted to implement? Chess clocks. Oh, yeah, I do remember that. So, <laughs> for, for those of you who've never used a chess clock, right, so there is a stops, uh, like a tab on each side, right? If the match is 30 minutes, you divide the time up 15 minutes to one side, 15 minutes to another. When the user, st- you know, ends their turn, they hit it, and then the clock for the other side starts. When time hits zero on either side, that person loses. It's definitely yeah. a good idea, but, you know, I, I would never win. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Khalid's going to add something. Watch out now. And it works in chess only because you're the only person who could make plays on your turn. Right, that's what I was going to say. During a card game, like, I do something, and then your opponent now has an opportunity to respond, so he can, like, burn out your clock that way. Yeah. Whereas in chess, it's like, I'm doing my thing, done, it's your turn, do your thing. There's no, like, in response. Yeah, because it's more beneficial for him to just waste time on your turn, so it's like, why wouldn't he do it? He say like, oh, I'm thinking the response. Well, I mean, well... Oh, man. Wow. Yeah, I... <laughs> Like, he's got one card in his hand, like, takes, like, three minutes during your turn. <laughs> Can I get a hand count? Hand <laughs> Can I hit a look at your graveyard? Can I get a deck count? <laughs> you had to bring him up to the pass, huh? So How many energy? <laughs> let me turn the hole. Let me count myself. <laughs> I don't know, like you know, because there's been there's been discussion in the past about slow playing here and there. Yeah. Here at Bearded, it has happened here and there as well. I mean, hey, I'm a slow ass player, dude. Like you know sometimes I have slow. to sit there because I just can't do math. <laughs> the worst thing is, is when you're a slow player and you try to call your opponent out. When yeah. you're like a slow player that we all know, <laughs> and you get, you know you talk to about it, yeah. and then you want to try to call somebody on slow play. Yeah. You just took 15 minutes to get to turn yeah. three. It, yeah, it happens. It happens. Yeah, yeah see, that's rough. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's it's a it's a thought. Something something I'm thinking about in the back. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so let's talk about some of these blue cards, huh? We were excited. We saw the blue <laughs> cards. Um, also, it's I don't know. The Samasu I'm still not intrigued by like I None feel of the blue cards make me feel like Zamasu got any better. Exactly. I still think Zamasu is still. <sighs> As bad as he is, it's still more time. And as bad as that is in this game, like... Is it, though? Because this game has so much draw, search... It does. It does. And, I mean, Freeze is a perfect example of how fast you can thin your deck into nothing by turn five. So let's let's say, you know, we see some, right? He's milling 20 cards off the top of his life deck. The example they give yeah. is... Uh, Five cards, was well, it? Let's be real. If we hit you, you lose the game anyway. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, but that's also 20 cards. That's four damage that you would not have been able to take. Not necessarily. I mean, it depends where you're at. It's, what is it? Once you're at two life, you, you drain your cards? Yes. So you but just you constantly have, to, have two life. You also have to consider the deck's 50 cards. You put eight into life, and your initial hand is how many? Five? Yeah, so you've six. already lost 13 cards. For six, so fourteen. How do I not know this? <laughs> because you play Final Fantasy like us, and we're scrubs. <laughs> so there's fourteen cards in your deck. So your deck's down to thirty six. That hit is more than your starting deck. Thirty six. So that's more than your starting deck. You, yeah, we, you at least get deck. six turns in. You'd at least get six turns in I mean, before he even possibly starts becoming relevant with the mill. 
Yeah, I so mean, that would be 30 cards left in the deck, which means you could take... Somebody do math, six hits? You could take six Assuming extra hits. you didn't hits. draw any extra stuff mm. at all, or tutor. I still think four extra... Plus he still attacks and draws. Four extra damage is Plus not something to be... Well, well, especially with all the negates and stuff that blue has, four extra damage on top of the eight that you already have. Because I don't believe... Is it like it in this game where you just... I recently heard is like when you when you have no deck you just lose you don't have to draw an extra card. I think it's when you would draw you lose. Yeah, I think so. I recently I believe it was this game I heard that somebody said that if you have no deck you just like as soon as you draw that last card your deck's gone you lose. Could be wrong about that. I remember we're getting Final Fantasy and this one mixed up. Well, Final also, Fantasy you don't you have to draw. Well, it also might be different too because in some card games you don't actually lose when you keep trying to mill an empty deck. You lose when you try to finally draw, draw a card like mm. in Magic, and that's my whole point is that's if that's still questionable on the mechanic of how mill is works in this game Zamasu might actually be really good because you might actually just be able to still take but there's well, you wouldn't because you wouldn't have any more cards in your deck you take damage but see point. here's the issue like so far we've only seen the blue cards right so that's at least six extra no four extra damage but see we only, we've only seen the blue cards there's nothing in the blue cards that rejuvenate so for for people who used to play pansy rejuvenate oh, yeah. means yeah. take the cards and put them on the bottom of your life deck uh, so, um, there's no cards in blue that do that. And the issue is his, his front card says, if this card is blue, then draw a card. So, unless, yeah, that's true. unless there's something, what does his front say? His front says, it forces you to play mono blue. choose one card, uh, in your life and place into the drop area. If the card you placed in the drop area with this, with this skill was blue, draw a card. So it's forcing you to play blue. So, or potentially whiff, which would be rough. Well, it also has, I believe, at least two indestructible threats that it will threaten every game. Well, we'll, we'll get to we'll get to indestructible here shortly. Because it is a Masu, and I believe that's what they the indestructibles right now that we've seen base off of is either a Goku Black or a Zamasu. Well, let's go back to the potential extra life, because now your power is eating your initial life. Then. If you trigger your initial thing, you're drawing cards, which effectively lowers your other side's mill ability too. Your yep. card has no synergy with itself. I just don't. I just don't see that. I just think that that's why it seems so bad is because we haven't seen it in play. And like this is a perfect example. I literally just watched SSJ three Goku before I came here. Just wreck somebody's face. Like that card is good. Well, you're you're also yeah, we knew that already. Yeah, you're also talking about so like the, the best card in the set. the point that being is like, I never really thought shit about Goku. I was like, oh, this is a $100 garbage card. And then out of nowhere, I start to realize once I see it, and I'm like, okay, this Did card's you... actually really good. I feel like the same thing is going to happen with cards like Samasu. Here's the difference, though. We read what SSJ, SSJ3 was good immediately. and knew what he did. We see this one. We I was underwhelmed by it just because I didn't like the red package. So what I'm sure. saying is, is like looks can be deceiving. And again, Zamasu, as bad as he sounds, for extra life, like, that's a whole nother turn. Unless, that's unless, at least one more turn, unless, at least, that you will survive, is my point. Unless there's an errata somewhere coming down the pipe, or they this was mistranslated from Japanese to English, or, or it's a troll card, or maybe it's a card to set up for set three, which we'll talk about after. Um, you and your secrets. <laughs> you your bearded secrets. Um, I, there's you nothing. Many secrets. <laughs> there's nothing in blue that supports this card. It, it doesn't support itself. Like Tony said, it's just it does. There's like no I synergy. Said, I think extra life points is the support that it gives. Like think about that for but, a second. But, but what do you mean by that extra life points? Think about this for a second. Like if it wasn't mill, if it was just if it like if the card read like when you get down to two, put mm, this many cards into your life. You know what I mean? Like, it gives you extra turns to live, whereas sometimes you can't swing through. Sometimes I can't even get through on the fifth turn to get them down to two to hit them. And that's just, like, me going all in, like, with Dodorias and shit draining their fucking hand, and it's like... The, the difference is, is that there's a, a different kind of variable. Yeah. Because if you're triggering your power and drawing from your deck, unlike Vegeta, who puts it to your hand, or Ginyu puts it to your hand, or in play... Mm -hmm. And then, so you're drawing off your leader, potentially. You're going to play Majin Buu, at least for set two. None of these one-drops are going to replace Majin Buu. Yeah, Buu. Majin Buu. That's another draw <laughs> card. If you play Bulma Whis, that's a tutor. If you play the Goku package, it's a tutor. Your deck's pretty much gone. And these are all cards that people are playing. 
Exactly. That's not even talking about the set two other cards. Yep. I don't remember anything on tutors. There's the the trunks that the trunks. Like Bulma searches yep. for trunks, which can definitely be played. And the trunks are searching for Goku. So Vegeta. most of the cards yeah, in this game one. either draw or tutor, and then you got to remember to do the perfect cards. Yeah, they all draw, so it does make it rough. So I mean, realistically, you could look at like maybe one or two extra points of damage then. So so far, two people on this podcast out of four. Say, <laughs> yeah, well, I'm cool and cool on this. Uh, think Samasu is shit, garbage right out the gate. One is undecisive and one has no opinion, no opinion on it. Yeah. So, guys, what do you guys think? Let us know. We can talk about this or continue to talk about it. If you guys want us to, to just forget about it and just say, guys, fuck Samasu. We'll, we'll just. <laughs> Well, the problem is we have Zamasu. We're talking about Goku Black too, which is going to be another big old drama thing. And also, we want to talk. About, we, we want to run straight to. Uh, Let's go right to Goku Black. We won't even go over. Okay. Yeah. Who? Whatever. Where is he? I don't know. Why is he Keeping the pressure Black? off of two indestructible guys, which will definitely always be on the field. Because okay. So here's Goku Black, right? I don't like Goku Black. It sucks because I wanted to play Goku Black. I'm with you. When I when I spoiled set two, sorry Bandai. When I spoiled set two, the picture, the original picture, it had Rose on it, and I was freaking out. I was like, "Holy crap! How come no one is talking about this?" And I was like, "Oh wait, never mind, secret." And I kind of oopsie. <laughs> it, it is what it is. It happens, guys. Like you know, if, if it wasn't for these little oopsies here and there, I don't think people will get hyped and excited for it. Nah, we should say. What How do you think stuff gets leaked? Yeah, so. Goku Black, right? He's a leader. Activate main once per turn. If you have two or more blue energy, choose one card in your life. Place it into your energy area. At the end of that turn, choose one of your energy and place it in your drop area. Interesting that you can choose any energy to place into your drop area afterwards. It doesn't have to be the one that you put. Correct. That's dab. But <laughs> You're milling yourself at that point. No, I mean... For you're... what? You're milling yourself to flip. You're milling yourself, but it's like, think of it in magic terms, like, how effective has it been when we've seen cards that are like, put a creature from your grave into turn, it dies at the end of the turn, gets haste. Not disagreeing with you, you know where my issue lies? His flip. On the back is this, when you're at two or less life, it activates. Not four, two. Wait, I thought it was two, it gets the boost. If you, yeah, during your turn, if you have two... Or less life, this card gains 5k power and double strike. Ooh, so you have to be at 2. That's Until rough. then, you don't have that. That's rough, man. So yeah. you, that's my issue with that. If it was at 4, I'll be all for it. Yeah, even 3. I mean, being at 2 is just so rough because, I mean, pretty much anything around 4 or 5 is going to have double strike. I guess I guess where they wanted to even this card out, because like the, the Goku one where you got 7 energy during yeah. your turn, this is always, always going to have that 5k. Oh, no, during your turn. Yeah, during your turn. Nope, never mind. Hmm. I just said that. So it's still, I, they should have been the four, uh, four life or less. Not a fan of that. Not a fan of that too. What do you guys think? I'm not really sure what to think about them. I mean, I already don't like giving people cards, hence running Vegeta. So, I mean, like, a double strike at two life, like, you're going to be, like, fighting for your life at that point. Everything that comes down with double strike is a threat. If they get you to one, everything else is a threat. So my argument is Ginyu and Vegeta already put themselves down to one and two life all the time and nobody has a problem with it. You don't have to flip when you get to four on the front side. You can put yourself to two. If you go first, you are two turns ahead of your opponent at any point. You are playing your your five on three. Yeah. You're or on four. Ones. But you know, like and if you objection and you went first. Like, I'm playing Go Tanks. But, Tony, Tony, we, we've heard that Objection is a bad card. I know, Objection is not. Especially it's when actually you like, really good. When you Objection, and then it's really good if you want to play kind of like fast. Like, because it gets you to the turn, which in blue, like, most of its threats are bigger. Whereas, like, red, it's not. Like, they're all small little beaters that just come out immediately and hit you in the face. Right, but with this guy, you can easily play yeah. a turn or two early. The indestructible Zamasu and yep, Black. Exactly. So not only do you have threats before you should, mm -hmm. they don't go away. 
I think, That's not what I'm going to do. I think people are just yeah. looking at this leader, and they're looking at what Blue already does. So let me... Let and me they're like, okay, stall, late game, negates, well, like... Let me circle ramp. back to you. What do you mean when there are five, when on turn three you can play a five? I was talking about objection. But, like, if, you okay. went, if I went first... Yeah. I just played my second energy. Mm-hmm. I can go to three, and you're going to be playing your second energy. I'm going to be going to my three in play. I can play something in my turn four. That's without playing an objection. If I play an objection on two... On my three, I can play Beerus, kill your guy, and swing with a 20 kilo. It's basically sure. having a free objection that sure. is a suicide objection. It's like Vegeta objection for you. Have, you have to play something like if you activate that, because remember, it goes away at the end of the turn. You have to have that card, obviously, in your hand to play that. It it does inquire the question of running implacable trunks to try and get whatever hits the graveyard back for you. Plus Bulma searches. Trunks. This fair? I mean, if you the way you put it is, if you look at it as being an aggro leader and like trying to like push real quickly to get there really fast, it seems pretty good on paper. This is mono green stompy. You you're yeah. you're turns ahead of your opponent for no reason. You're playing high value mid to high cost guys. Yeah. Like I keep saying go tanks because a five twenty five yeah, double strike. He's the best one to play. Then he untaps too. Yeah, then he's he the best hard. one to play. I mean, of course, now you you, ha you lock yourself into playing blue resources the first two turns because of his power, but that's not that hard. Yeah. If you know playing the deck, that's what's going to happen. Especially because it's like whatever hits from your life is going to be yeah. more green, and you can filter it as you And you, you can fit. filter it. Like, yeah. So, you can get so, rid of the blue and keep the green. So I, I see your point. So I think we can all agree that he's better than Samasu. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but so is Bulma. Well, but the, the, the tragedy for this card, can you guys guess what it is? It'll be foil. It's an uncommon. It doesn't come in foil. <laughs> it does not come in foil. Bandai, if you're listening, Max wants foils. They should always do leaders as promo foils. I think that would be sick. Yeah, like entry promos. Cool. Yes, I agree. That would actually be very interesting if they started like not putting out these like hundred dollar promos that aren't obtainable any other way. Agreed. They actually, did foil leaders or something like that. Or, like, Agreed. Different art Alt art or something. Because, yeah. geez. Like, let me just tell you, for for the next set of promo kits, remember, they're... The promos are people berserk. Well, <laughs> for set two promo kits, right, they're less than $30. I have, like, over 100 on pre-order. I want to make sure I don't run out because we are expanding that bearded. Yeah, we are out. getting a bigger store because of this out. game, and it's, it's ridiculous that people are willing to, like, be outside, on the sidewalk, play this game. Like, I, I am just flabbergasted with this, what's going on. We don't get this in Final Fantasy, but we won't talk about that no, at the moment. Guy, I think the real question about that is once all these tournament kits, like let's just say our hopes and dreams are actually fulfilled and not deleted and we get a bunch of tournament kits, everyone's going to be asking, are they going to be on entry? Are they going to be on top eight? What What's going well, on here? I think that should be a supply and demand issue. Exactly. Um, and yeah. I feel like we've seen the supply and demand. <laughs> yeah, so... So if if for whatever reason I get an excess amount of tournament kids, guys, here are bearded. They're sixteen. They're sixteen promos. I'm not going to do what I did in set one because I just wanted the hype. I'm not going to be opening up multiple tournament kids. Top sixteen guest promos. I mean, that's fair. That's more than fair. I mean, the, the, realistically, the kids will get designed for two yeah. events too. Yeah, and I would say definitely based on the size. You know, obviously not top sixteen. It was only seventeen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. Yeah, let's roll over extra packs. I mean, once you hit a certain threshold, maybe do top sixteen. Yeah. Exactly. If you get up to 30, do yeah. half people... I mean, you know the business better than we do, so it's like, you know, you can allocate that. So, yeah, so let, let, let's talk about the trunks, right? Well, let's oh, only yeah. do the ones that are relevant, because I don't want to talk about some of, like, the jank cards. Well, I wanted to talk about the trunks, because I thought... It, I thought I thought, oh, I thought you meant, like, the jank cards. No, no, no. No, no, no. no, no, no. no. <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't, yeah. I didn't realize the card said once per turn on both sides, because that would have been just crazy. It'd be broken. That Doesn't it say on your turn only? No. Uh, I think it's pretty It is once per turn? On During your turn on both. Oh. So it does say during your turn. Yeah, so Trunks is a blue leader. During your turn, when you combo with a card that has an energy cost two or more, draw a card. And on the back, it says the same thing. Um, if if it's... Uh, same same exact thing, right? Because originally, the images we saw... I guess, you, obviously, the images we saw were blurry and stuff. You yeah. know, people just got so excited. I got oh, excited. Yeah. I, I thought it was every turn you could do it at least once every turn but now that's the blurry car like you know when i zoomed in i thought that said like either revenge or something like something yeah. ridiculous like oh cool I you're gonna have revenge dude that would be fun. he has a sword 
sword. I mean, it's actually not that. You never be shanked. If it's your leader, yeah, it is. It, it's it's really busted. If I combo and shut down your attack, I just killed your bro. <laughs> yeah, that would be I like the best leader. Even oh, attack me, dude. <laughs> Even if you hit me for one, guess what? Your bro just died, son. Not your leader, though. No, no, no. Because the attack, because the attack, yeah, you, they still die. Revenge? No, they don't still no. Die. If you don't negate, die. if you can negate the attack, yeah. no, how they would they? die. Because how would they? Well, Frost kills people when he attacks, even if it's negated. But how would you negate the attack? Or the negate happens before block. No, if they attack your leader, your leader has. Revenge. Oh yeah, well that's just a whole. different I mean, I, I guess that, we could, that's a whole hype. Well, I, I, don't, I don't think we'll ever see revenge on leader for that reason, yeah, right? That's stupid. So the trunks, I'm actually pretty disappointed because, uh, uh, again, if you haven't seen the anime, the back, I was just hoping for, I mean, that. But again, another another, um, another issue with this card is that it doesn't come in foil because it's uncommon. Well, we have another SR that didn't show us yet. And I like the trunks. I think he's good. So what about the Terminus Striker Super Saiyan Blue Son Goku, right? It is a four drop, one blue, counter attack. Play this card and negate the attack. Permanent. When acti activating this card's counter, if you have three or less life, you may place two Saiyan from your hand in a drop area. If you do, re reduce, yeah, reduce the energy cost of this card by three for the duration of the turn. <laughs> I don't think that's good at all. That's three cards out of your hand. That's a Yo, it's three cards out of your hand to make it a one cost, though. Like, to have that as just an option. Like, somebody led me on this weekend about, like, that, and was the whole point of the argument was objections bad. <laughs> you want more options. And it became completely clear when playing the Mirror Vegeta Vegeta. And it's like, I was ramping and getting there faster, but he had more cards in his hand. So having more options to be like, I have more options than you do. You see what I'm saying? It's like, if you have that card in your deck, it's just a whole nother negate. Right, that, four. That could be one. It's if either you it to one be. card and four mana, or three cards and one mana. On top of the four coercions you're already running. I mean, I guess, or you play two colors and play more actual one drops. So, has anybody seen the it's ruling? Also, a dude, though. I mean, we've seen how badass. Uh, I, I guess. I mean, he can be. He is a twenty k. But so, if you battery, if you counter the counter, where does this card go? Same thing with raging attack Vegeta. Yeah, I would assume the graveyard. Yes. That would be a blow. I just discard two cards and I got battery yeah. laser. I mean, bad them. ring is like it makes sense because like the card has to come into play in order to counter the attack. Bad ring stops the counter, so the card never reaches play. It goes to the graveyard. So here, here, what I did rule that bearded for like the last two weeks is that it goes back to the hand after thinking about it, and I'm pretty sure I read There's somewhere. No I read some, yeah, somebody yeah. showed it to me. Yeah, so that's it was actually Lindsay. Lindsay yeah, showed it to yeah. Me. So you discard it and. Yeah. X Yu Gi Oh player and uh, discard it. <laughs> 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 Did he play something else awful too? Force you know, of Will. Those cool. Yeah, I played Force of Will. TLC rip. So, um, yeah, so so that's something something. I mean, hey guys, you the know, Force slot is too packed. I, I agree. To me, is almost unplayable. It is very packed. I just think that again, if you're playing mono blue, the access to another negate is huge. Not to mention you're gonna have Pilaf, Zenobut, and something. There's another one that's a negate as well. I'm pretty sure. Well, let, let's let's talk about something that's actually pretty intriguing. When I saw this card, I was like, "This is busted!" Right? Raging Spirit, Son Gohan. I don't think I've read that one yet. So he's a three drop, mandatory two, right? Green. Uh, blue. Everything's blue. Everything's blue. Oh, okay. There's another That's one shows blue. He combos one for one cost for 10k, right? At the end of battle, after you combo with this card from your hand, if your leader card is blue, play this card into rest mode. Wow, so it's just like the Vegeta. Yeah, it's probably going to be one for every color. Oh my I hope God. so. The thing with this is with Trunks, it's retarded. Why? It's going. Because you also get to draw a card. With the Trunks leader, you attack, you combo, you draw a card, you play him. Yep. Oh so I guess he is a, a during your turn combo. is not that bad, though. Yeah, but that's a 10k boost. You're probably swinging through on that with Trunks Leader. It's not going to be double. Imagine on turn two, dropping two of those bad boys down. Oh so you're not stopping this attack. <laughs> <laughs> or these two. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty interesting. I think we're going to see a lot more like early interactions in this next set. Instead so of just like people building up, because I I think we've seen that Vegeta makes a really really good game when you get to four life and you just stay at four life. Yeah, sure. Uh, definitely we skip gone the other Goku because he's just a clone of the Go Vegeta. Yeah, those oh, so good. The, there's certain ones we're skipping, so guys. But the Vegeta prop fodder, you know, he he just blows somebody up. 
Uh, well, when this card is when the, when you play this card with Trunks Future Skill, choose uh, choose up to one uh, opponent battle card and KO that card. So wait, so with Trunks Future Skill, what does that mean? Actually, Here's the next card. Here's the next card. Uh oh, sure. It's really bad. Place this card at the bottom of your deck. Choose one uh, blue Son Goku, or wait, what? Choose one blue Son Goku, or with an energy cost of three or less from your hand and play it. What? Doesn't even say Vegeta. Oh no, the translation. No, or Vegeta. <laughs> yeah. So the tr- so Bandai, if you guys are listening, uh, BT- PT two zero four three. There is mm-hmm. a translation issue on the skill because I actually zooms in on the card and say Vegeta. Yeah, um, not a fan. So triple, what does the Vegeta triple do? Triple blue. What does the Vegeta do? Nothing if you don't play it with Trunks, but he lets you break a card. Oh, you kill somebody. if you. Yeah, no, that's bad. I mean, even Broly is better than that. Well, you have to combo with two specific cards. Yeah. Just play Beerus. Yeah, I agree. Here's a cute card I like. Unyielding Spirit Trunks, right? Yeah, what's he do? It's... Two costs, mandatory one blue. During your turn, when you combo with this card, if your leader card is blue, choose up to one en- one of your energy and switch it to active mode. A little mini Zenzi Bean. Yeah. So it doesn't cost anything? Zero? Zero. Zero. Plus 5k? Zero. Zero if I send... So during your turn, when you when you do it, he sends his one energy. Yep. Yep. Dope. Which is effectively what Zenzu does, because you pay one to ready two. Well, I mean, I think the addition of Zenobut kind of... Trumps that card out, but it is an actual combo card, which makes sense. Well, it's, a, it's more of offensive than Zenobuck. Yeah, Zenobuck's yeah. more just like, nope, I'm it's not dying this turn. Well, you know, and then the next one, you know, is Bulma. She just chooses a Trunks uh, energy card four or less from the deck, adds it to your hand. So you're saying just chooses a Trunks, but this Bulma makes the Trunks package automatically happen. Yeah. I was getting to that. Yeah. Like, it sucks that her name isn't Trunks, but it is a searcher instead of top seven garbage. Light of hope, guys. Yeah. Get them. <laughs> That's where it's Get at. Get them now. <laughs> they will jump. <laughs> it's going to happen. Well, I would say you can play this new one, but you can't because he's awful. No. <laughs> no. You don't need to because you have all also, of the ones also, that you need already. It says a Trunks four or less. Which means what? we only got one Trunks this set. The other one is probably going to be the SR. I don't know. My brain can't think that good. Yeah. Normally. <laughs> <laughs> so Beerus, um, Beerus is Beerus. Uh, four costs, mandatory, two blue, double strike. When you play this card, your opponent chooses a number of cards from their hand equal to the number of battle cards in their battle area. Okay, hold on. Let me actually read the card. It's long. Good lord. Talk about TLDR. Uh, when you play this card, your opponent chooses a number of cards from their hand equal to the number of battle cards in the battle area with an energy cost of one or less and places the cards on the top of their deck in any order. Then your opponent returns all of their battle cards with an energy cost one or less to their hand. Sorry, guys, I actually zoomed in because I thought there was a mistranslation like before. Um, I'd rather, pay the, I'd rather play the other Beerus. Yeah, too much text. Uh, no, with that. It's bad. <clears throat> it just switches the cards in their hand. With, I mean, if they have a bunch of one-drops, it'll hit them back a bunch of turns. Or this card will do nothing. I mean, let's be real. The only one-drops are either a blocker or a combo. Yeah. No, because if you give them back their Bulma or their Boo, or let them play extra ones, like... Oh, yeah. Have, like, two boos in play and then somehow have, like, a boo or two in their hand. They're just like, cool, they go back, I draw them. Cool, you did... Yeah, did it. Thanks for the boost, nothing. bro. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like this card. You see it against blockers, no. but... What about this blocker, guys? To remember how much we love blockers. Oh, God, here he comes. Weiss, the Sacred Guard. Uh, four drop, mandatory two blue. Blocker, permanent. This card cannot be KO'd by your opponent's card skills and does not leave the battle area due to skills. They might as well just call this indestructible, because that's what that is, right? Same. No? No, because you can do battle damage to him still. No. Can't be done by battle or skills. No, it's right there. Cannot be KO'd by your opponent's card skills and does not leave... Oh, that's true. Oh, so, 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 so it can be bad. Well, revenge doesn't... Uh, he can't be KO'd by revenge. So, I mean, what's the point of that? He's not go-tanksable or go-tenable. He's Bulma-able. 
No, no, no. I'm trying to think what could kill him other oh, Beerus. than battle. Oh, yeah, I guess Beerus. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Well, that's actually pretty good, though. Think about it. I mean, how many games have been won off Beerus blowing up the blocker and swinging in? By the way, that's a common. I mean, yeah, he's a common for sure. But what's cool is, like, this makes the Bulma thing a little bit better because now you have a second target to search that's not garbage. Yep. I agree. actually really like Whis. He is the way to ramp. And we talked about Pilaf earlier today. Yeah. Uh, He's a uh, one drop said. blue. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, he's a counter battle card. Play this card, then choose one keys keyword skill of the attacking card and negate it for the duration of turn. Except twelve drop Whis. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's uh, I guess this is a great way for when uh, somebody go- tries to go balls deep and they start activating mm-hmm. the combo with Champa. Yeah, so I think he could actually stop uh, Goku uh, Godbreak Goku's can't be blocked or negated effect. I think he can just stop that. No, it says a keyword skill. But that is a skill. No, a keyword skill is going to be double strike, triple strike, double attack. Uh, I see. Yeah. You are smart. Industrial? Indu- Industrial Industrial is a keyword. It is a okay, keyword I skill. I know what you mean now by keyword. He mentioned play this. That's what they were called before. Play little, this. Little keyword counter, keyword, yeah. yeah indestructible. Blocker, Thank you, indestructible. Yeah. It took me a while to... So, Indestructible. <laughs> and it's, <laughs> it's permanent a keyword skill. Is that just like loophole it? Yeah, the whole thing? I think it is. So wait, so so you can play this, remove the indestructible, and then KO. So it's an attacking character, so it's a little harder. Mm, but yeah. Yes. Hmm. I wonder what else it can remove. I don't know. Uh, we're gonna keep, skip Stuff over. To think about. Skip over shoe. Tell us the combos yeah. you figure out. My. Mine is cool because I guess you know yeah. you can tap out and then still play her for free. Yeah, she's dope. She's uh, really dope in the trunks. Yeah, let and me, the little. Let the me little rephrase little, that. Little Mai. Uh, future Mai, because <laughs> little Mai, she's yeah. This card is actually awful unless you're playing trunks. Can we talk about what trunks is doing in the background? <laughs> like Jesus, I get it. I like how young Mai is a 10k, but grown up Mai with a shotgun is a 5k. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. But Yo, Jerobi, Dad, Yo, why Jerobi, did though. why did we skip the the best member of that gang? Because we only talked about my and Pilaf. What I mean? Because vanilla. We're just getting to that. What? Wait, who are we talking about? The vanillas are my. Who are you, who are you talking about? Shu. Oh no, I, I mentioned I him. He's just vanilla. It's whatever. Vanilla, what? vanilla nothing. It doesn't matter. Yeah, just Jerobi. Moving on. You should be actually happy because you you know the Asian. I am Yasha. definitely Yajirobi and Yamcha. Thank he's, you, Bandai. Please, to me, he's probably like, yeah, one of the best cards previewed so far. I haven't. I didn't see him yet. Well, so would you combo to save him? Yes. Blocker Absolutely. revenge. Okay, yeah, I did see that. That's so dope. Hell well, yeah, you combo to save him. Well, other blocker has revenge. You run Zarbon. Hell yeah. Yo, you run Zarbon with that, bro. Yo, Zarbon just got good. Zarbon's <laughs> been good, bro. Zarbon and Kui is it's like, oh, your Vegeta will never hit me. Cool. <laughs> like waste your go to be blue yellow. Yeah, <laughs> oh, <I mean. laughs> it'd be real bad. <laughs> what could you stall into? You'd be running blue, so five. Beerus probably. So Yadrobi, since we didn't talk about it, it's going on. Two drop five k, blocker and revenge. Like yeah, it's pretty bust. Awesome. Really good. Yeah, but things are gonna be pitching cards to save them. Worth. Yeah. You just turns them into a especially remote. with Zarbon when he can block again, or you just block and kill their six drop. Whatever you got me. Sure. Fair. Fair. Um, I think we're going to see a spike probably in Goten usage. We'll see. Yeah, Goten's going to be... Goten's really good. Coming at me, bro. He yeah. shuts down a lot of, like, yellow and red well, and just shut down. Well, I, th- I feel like the next card, they wanted to make it into another version of Sensu Bean to an extent. Tiny Heroes, Har- Haru and Maki. Um, when it's a one-drop blue... When you play this card, choose one of your other battle cards. It gains 1k power for each energy card for the duration of the turn. Imagine that on coming soon. Goku. I don't know how this is compared to Zenzu Bean, but I do like this Well, card. like, if you have five out, yeah. then it's, like, it's a mini, like... For one? Is that what it costs? For one. Yeah, it's pretty It's pretty damn good. Because you think about what you're actually doing near the end game when you're comboing out. Like, if you have one or two of those and you have seven energy out, which you will by the end of the game... That's at least 7k per one. But then you can also sack for 5k. Problem is, is she doesn't become value, or they, until you're at 6 energy. Agreed. Because otherwise you just pay 1 for a 10k. Yeah, at true. instant speed. Yep. 
So I don't know. And it's a 1K, so like... When you think about all of the like stall and negates and blockers and stuff, I mean, we saw Yajirobe, we have at least a couple more negates coming with the coercions already. You only have 50 cards. And censored. <laughs> only, cards. only 50. Yo, yo, if I could run nothing but one drop that draw cards in my deck, cool. I'm doing it. It's probably pretty nuts in Goku, though. Like, That's what I'm saying. Coming soon, Goku, it's like you know, you're already in. Down the road, what do you think about uh, Super EDH, Super Commander? Super EDH, yeah. <laughs> The it's game is already true. commander. It's just like fast uh, commander. Well, I mean, I'm just... It's like 50-card <laughs> commander. <laughs> no, I disagree with you. Time and place. Yeah, so uh, e- even the uh, the two-drop Goku Black, I'm, I'm I'm not a fan of what they're trying to do with the... Yeah, me neither. Samasu Goku Black, like if one's in play, one can be KO'd. I was unimpressed. I'm just... I don't know. I'm, I'm really... How about the six-drop, though? I don't even care about that. What, the Samasu? Yeah. So it was a six drop Samasu alert, uh, Samasu uh, the alert god. That can evolve. Uh, mandatory two blue, evolve for five three mandatory blue indestructible auto. When your opponent's card, uh, when your opponent's card attacks, if your leader card is Samasu or Goku Black, you place one card from your hand in the drop area. If you do so, negate the attack and negate the the skill for the duration of the turn. Yo. So it's a free negate. You think Turns about any it. card in your deck to a zero cost negate. Even less reason to play that Goku. Wait, come at me, bro. What is it? I mean, what I just... 25? Compared, 25. To like, compared to the red that we've seen, bro, this is all just like garbage. <laughs> just a bunch of negates. And like, double strike guess what? Weiss is going to come out. <laughs> like, hey, <laughs> I'm glad, you know. I wanted I wanted to cast 12 drop Weiss since this friggin' game came out. So, again... The other jank. Yeah, so again, we, we don't talk about spoilers here, but... The uh, God of the Gods, Great Priest. Oh, that's that's the God of Jank. <laughs> we, we won't. Uh, don't talk about spoilers. But guy has double strike. Uh, when you play this card, if your leader card is a God, choose any number of other gods in your battle area and add them to your energy area in rest mode. Twelve drop weeds. Yeah, that's what <laughs> it's for. It's pretty much what it is. But like, you have to run this a whole is God actually nuts. Because no, if you make it to seven and you play this. Does it say other? Can he put himself in there? Uh, other. Damn. Okay. 16, you win the game. Yeah. With Beerus. Yeah. That's true. This is halfway there. And if you, like, play gods throughout the game, there's a couple one-drops. I'm trying to think of who the actual guy is. Majin Buu's Majin or a god? He's not a god. No. But yeah, there's the right sucks. guy that's a god. The Supreme Supreme Kai yeah. The for Unor 6. Is the attendant a god? Yeah. Yes. We can just do keyword search for God. Yeah, he is a God. I know that for a fact. 100%. Uh, there's Champa. All the Champas are God, so that's good. And they're all playable. Yeah. So are you searching for that? You probably wouldn't even need more. Well, well, I mean, you can search for that, but we're, let's talk Steven about Zeno, play. the Plain God. <laughs> um, he's a 7-drop, 3-blue mandatory. Uh, he's a 15k... When you play this card, negate all other battle card skills. Then choose all cards in both players' hands as well as all other battle cards and return them to their decks. Shuffle both decks afterwards. Then both player draws five cards. Huh. And as well as their... Gambling shenanigans. He's a god, yeah. And choose all cards in both players' hands as well as other battle cards. Yeah, see... I wanted to think that this was going to be like a perfect Samasu card, but it's still not relevant. It's it's not. King Kai is also a god. So you yeah, have a one-drop blocker. About that this not only do you have the one-drop blocker, King Kai god, you have the one-drop attendant is also a god. This that guy, can be summoned off the floor. That was only seven. Gowasu. Gowasu, which is... He's in here. He's a one-drop. And when you play this card, look at look at up to three cards from the top of your deck. Choose up to one god among them. Add them to your hand. Shuffle your deck. This is Frieza for gods. Yeah. Three. It's just like Frieza. Hmm. But we've already seen that. There's almost enough cards. So two drop then, right? Two drop god. Three. Oh, I don't know. Go back. Is that what he searches? No, he searches for any. It's not two drop. Isn't any? Yo, he's better than fucking Frieza. Are you kidding me? Well, Frieza has a tutor. And, and Frieza can get the Dodoria. Well, Frieza can get tutored by Frieza, Frieza Call. Yeah, that's true. So, what was that other one? The one drop that we just saw? Yeah, Universe Sense Supreme Kai Gowasu. Wow, and that's assuming like it'll probably be blue red. 
Beer is gods. Yes, I agree yeah. with that. Yeah, absolutely. Here's another card that I find that is, uh, it's, uh, sucks that it does not come in foil. Father and Son Gallic Gun. I would have loved to see this thing with a purple, purple foil, something like that. Yo, why are the Gallic Guns purple, though? I don't know. I was just going to say that. They're not purple. Like in the anime, spoiler, they are purple. Oh, yeah. Spoiler, episode, like, three. <laughs> <laughs> uh, activate main... Man, I haven't seen that far. <laughs> I'm being dead serious. <laughs> I hate you for even saying that. Get out of my store. You, you are banned, sir. Hey, I made it to the part where he blew up half the planet. Give me a break here, man. Jeez. It's all it's in Japanese. Like, if you look at it, they're not actually next to each other. It's Can't do it without Vegeta. Yeah, yeah it's Photoshopped then. together. They're, they're not side by side. Like, you know, in that, spoiler, like in the actual anime when it happens, they're actually... Like... Like... Off-center. Off-center, side by side. This, this is like... They just took two pictures... And just kind of try to merge them together and just failed. It doesn't look that bad, but it's also it doesn't look as cool as not it good either. So it's, it's a two cost. Activate main. Choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and return it to their hand. I think this is pretty nuts. Yo, Leviathan, yeah, really get out! It's really strong. Yeah. yeah. This Without is, even having Yun on the board. For two, when can it be cast? It's Activate your, main. Your main. So it's not instant. It's sorcery. So it's sorcery speed. Yeah, sorcery speed exactly. Still really badass. Actually, it's a lot weaker in this game, I think, because everything is haste. It is yes. two drop, though. Blocker? Sure. Or you just kill it with go tanks. Or go ten. Well, if you're running for go ten and then you have those, you just have more chances to do that. Yo, this is still a 50 card deck, actually. dude. This is still just a 50 card deck. <laughs> we have to remind you, it's 50. Hey, man. Meta calls. You never know. This card I'm excited about just because it is you what never it think. is. The Mafuba? Mafuba! <laughs> Especially, oh, oh. I stopped. Yep, yep, I stopped. yep. I know. I knew where you were oh, going no, with that. No spoilers. That was like no. my favorite episode. Yes. Anyway. Yes. Uh, it's a two drop. Uh, one blue mandatory counter battle card attack. Negate the attack and place this card on the attacking card. At the end of the opponent's next turn, place this card and only this card in the drop area. As long as this card is stacked on top of of another card, this that card is not treated as a battle card and its skill cannot be activated. What? It's not good. It's just it's cool as Mafuba. It's pretty much you. You, you freeze a guy. You f- get their effect. Final Fantasy it's effect. You freeze and they don't activate until the next turn. It's gonna be a, a counter attack then. It is a counter attack. So that's instant speed. It's another blue negate. Hey, you're the one that keeps forgetting there's 50 cards in the deck. I don't give a shit if I can run mono <laughs> blue with like fucking 18 negates. I don't give a <laughs> fuck, dude. <laughs> like you ain't hitting me. <laughs> you guys are here, Mister Ninth Place is gonna go into the 20th. Yo. Don't don't you wish that evil upon me? <laughs> you do that, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> if you do it, ninth place is mine. <laughs> Jeez. So so time ring, guys. Time ring. Um, it's cute if you're playing the the Goku Black Samasu package. I don't think we're gonna see that played at all. Uh, somebody might we try. We say it. that, but then like four weeks in, somebody's just gonna come blast everyone in the ass with Zamasu. Well, we also Goku. don't know if there's gonna be Zamasu and um, Blacks in other colors. I yeah. hope there is. I, I really hope there is. Yeah, and why Zamasu become good as soon as one card comes up that says you can put cards back into your deck? Yes, I mean, that's what I'm waiting for. Until then, he's hot garbage. Uh, the time... You didn't read the card, though. Oh, sure, the time ring. <laughs> Look up the... T- well, because that in Trunks Machines kind of does the same thing, just vice versa. For the So, time ring, two costs, uh, one blue mandatory. Look up. Uh, look at up to ten cards from the top of your deck. Choose up to one Goku Black or Samasu among them. If you have four more energy, choose two instead. Add the uh, add the Chos up to two instead. Wait, what? You get two if you have four more energy. It's worded. Really add the bad. chosen cards in your hand and shuffle your deck. Okay, I just want to make sure I wasn't. Can you can you move closer to the mic, Josh? Yeah, if the Khajiit gets out of my way. Ah, uh, yeah, these. <laughs> This, guys, this is what happens when you have uh, randos on your podcast. Hey, I'm not a rando. <laughs> I'm not <nice>, place! <laughs> rando was like the lamest character in you. <laughs> rando? Rando Calrissian. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> so, Trunks Time Machine actually only costs one. I, I thought they were both two, but Trunks is one. It's a leader card, it's Trunks Future. So, so this forces you to play leader card Trunks. Um, look at up to 10 cards from the top of your deck. Choose up to one Sun Goku, Vegeta, or Trunks Future Yo. among them and add it to your hand. Then if you have four more energy, choose one of your energy and switch it to active mode. Get out, and it stands itself. Get out of here, dude. How is that so dope? 
It's pretty interesting. I don't know if I would play... Um, it saves you from the energy usage so you can use it again in the nope, overall. it's good. But you, but you have to have four more for it to go active. But it's you have leader. to be Trunks' leader. So you can't use this in Vegito. No, you can't, but it seems like what a couple of the other Trunks had to do with uh, Goku and Vegeta, right? The bad but one. you wouldn't play those. Mm. The bad That was the only one that it dealt with so far. Remember, let's not use the word bad. Let's just say we well, recommend I mean, you, you. Think about the Gokus and stuff and the Vegetas that are already out. The Vegetas are really good. And now the, now it has a one drop searcher. That, I don't know. That has to. I mean, I think we're going to see Trunks be. The problem with him is that he can't suicide and awaken himself, but he's going to be a good, like, a hard counter for, like, keeping up the card draw against Vegeta. But he also has um, the one drop Bulma that just tutors Ace Future yeah. Trunks from the deck. Yeah. But, yeah, I think, dude, I think it's busted. Trunks package is going to be, like, sweet. You know what's busted? And let's actually talk about this counter. The last card of the blue oh, that was spoiled. There he goes. When I saw this card, guys, like, I was literally, like, half asleep. I saw that the, the cards were, were, you know, the blue cards were, were put out. I'm like, cool, yeah, whatever. Like, I was thinking about combos in my head. I go to the last card. Yeah. Zeno button. Fold and dropped it on me. I was, I was like, like, what? Did I read that right? Shit my pants immediately. Counterattack. Switch all your all your blue energy to active mode. Cost zero. Yeah. I thought it was more buzzing. When Volden said it to me, I thought it negated an attack, too. And then I was just like, Get what? <laughs> Here's my issue with this card, and I'm going to reference Star Wars Destiny on this. And set two, even the developer said that they made the game too fast with a lot of the zero-cost cards. This is going to be an issue. People, I don't think so. I'm sorry? I don't think it'll be an issue. Okay, so let me give you this example. I tap out. I swing at you, right? Yeah. Your turn. Because remember, you can only activate this on your opponent's turn. Yeah. You start to swing at me, and you try to go balls deep because you're like, hey, he has... Yeah, and he just untaps and... Untaps everything. all those 10Ks on. You just get punished, though. Like, you get punished, and to me... Remember, th this broke this broke the super page, the Facebook group. People were freaking out about this. It is a very good defense because if you... From what I've noticed, sometimes, like, you don't need to play anything. You just need to leave all your mana open so you can just combo your whole hand in case they try to go in on you. Like, sometimes it's a viable strategy. So the first thing is you got to limit the amount of, what do they call this game, events? Extras. Extras. Because yep. they can't combo. Exactly. So if you're running four him, four negates, yep. four, exactly. what's the other one, objection? Like, you're running yeah. out of room. Yes. Then, I mean, it'll, there'll be cool turns where you blow out and they try to go in and kill you. Yeah. But that only happened for the first two weeks of the set. Exactly. It's going to be expected. Then past that, you can't counter your own attack, because that would make the card busted. <laughs> counter and then go all out? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's like tap out attack, counter mount attack with my boo that I attack with. <laughs> <laughs> Untap all my shit. <laughs> make a 200k yeah. boo. <laughs> No, dude, just let Boo die. <laughs> then you use the good guys, <laughs> and then you play another one. Then just play Beerus. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can't do that. That's what and this is why Josh yeah. comes in ninth place. Woo! Because you will actually watch me try and yeah. do that in a tournament. Jeez. So, this card, I, I think, is overhyped. Mm -hmm. it, is, it is a cute two-off, probably, in my opinion. Um... But I think it's overhyped. People were, were stressing out so much about this card. Yeah. Um, somebody actually messaged me saying that uh, they might quit because they saw this card. I just think it's a lot of gas towards stall. Like I said, we like, <laughs> get ready for it, people, because you're going to get quadruple stress. And I don't want to call you out on blast, uh, but if you're listening to this podcast, you are wrong. You should still play the game. Yeah. Support your OGS, otherwise support the beard. Totally. Everybody also thinks think too, like, got How many games have you lost? Whoever's like listening. Because when you needed that one last combo, you're sitting there yep. looking at an, uh, yep. an extra card. Exactly. Yes. There's times where I lost a game where I needed to drop another tank and I couldn't. I mean, you saw it. You saw the last game I lost, how salty I was about that. All I needed to do was drop the last three cards in my hand. But no. You almost flipped that table. Yo, it was, I was like, really? You're going you're gonna to get through a, a free 25k triple striker after that? Sure. GG. GG, Blake. Balake. Balake. <laughs> you done messed up, A.A. <laughs> yeah, because of him, it's wild. It was late on Saturday. Blake. Do you think you have a jack? 
this what guy. This is garbage. So, yeah, guys, uh, the blue cars. I feel like blue's getting too much of a uh, push forward. And he's. I I really hope with this next set that we see the other cars. I mean, red has a lot of. Guys. I'm glad there was a lot of crappy cards in blue because I want other colors to get. Yellow needs a huge buff. Yellow's really good. It's just. Well, we have one. We have one local here that just loves his Frieza, and he he tops. It sucks because he's a Packers fan, but we won't talk about that. <laughs> I mean, it's a finesse deck. Yes. And a lot of people in this game, at least in our locals, just want to play Dragon Ball. It's true. They want to get stronger yeah. dudes and smash. Yeah. But but Yellow needs... I feel like the order of operations that needs to increase in buffs, Yellow, uh, yellow Green, Red, Blue. That's the order needs to be buffed. Blue, yeah, Green's really strong. I, know, or I, think red? The, I think the pressure in this game is like really different. Than I think most. red is only even being looked at because of Kappa. This is true. <laughs> but so here's something I was thinking about too. So they showed us this four drop Goku that has an extra effect and it's a four cost negate. In set one, everybody got a one cost negate, and then yellow got a four drop. Raccoon's eraser awful. Maybe we'll get the one drop yellow. It's a really game. good stall card. I just think that the problem with yellow is like you stall long enough, it doesn't really do what it needs to do. The problem with the razor gun is on four, you can either play King Cold or Mecha Frieza. So you're going to tap out on four. Or yeah. play King Cold. Yeah, I think next uh, week we'll talk about really, probably like underrated cards from set one type of deal. Yeah, you only really get value off of the laser gun if you if they have like a field and they swing at you and, with the leader and you negate it. Yeah, that's it. That's, so that's about it. Attack. Exactly. Well, it's tough because we're, we're not going to see any yellow cards until October 13th. What's next Friday? Um, Blue's coming Friday. Cell. So green. Yeah. Green is, is coming out. Kind of like what you were saying, the next one that we should get above. Yeah. I really just want to see all of no. what red's going to have. I red's going to be really badass. Well, red, How do you know because green's Android and cell. I don't really care. Just because of what happened, I mean, I've seen what the cell packages. It seems cute. What it's trying to do, and they're all trying to like interact with each other. What do you mean you've seen the cell package? Well, no, and sorry, I did not, not see it from me. Android package. Is okay. What I was talking about the oh, cell showed, saga. Showed, like two cards. Yeah. I, I like that thing where you can like discard an Android from your hands. You evolve your cell, kind of like flavor for the show. Yes. But I don't, I don't think, think I saw any of the cells. I'm excited to play some Android 16. Yeah. I don't know. I love the Android. I hope the leaders, like... So they showed us the rare leader for blue, and then two uncommons. We're going to get a starter, I assume. Yeah. There's no starter next set. There's no oh. starter. Is there a special pack? Hell. There's a special pack next set. Is there a leader in the special pack? Uh, or, yes. Or a jank promo? Uh, no, it's a promo. Makes sense. I say jank promo because I don't like Final Attack Vegeta, whatever his name is. It's uh, Prince's... No, yeah. Yeah, Final Attack. I don't know how you uh, POS Vegeta, I don't like him either. I mean, I guess you could really view that starter deck as an event deck. It comes with, like, a lot of shit that, you know what I mean? You can't get, it, like, I didn't know you couldn't get Rapid Spirit and Boosters. Is this true? It's true. That's retarded. It's the, super, the, the two... Excuse three, my French. The Super Saiyan 3 you can't get, the God that nobody cares about you can't get, yeah. and then the two drop, or the, the three drop, three three drop yeah. is basically a two. Well, I mean, oh. so, in, in reference to set one... You know, special packs, uh, starters, and even boosters. Um, one of the distributors is reporting a restock expected. So they're expecting stuff coming in. Mm -hmm. There's just no ETA on them. But we'll, we'll talk about more products here shortly. Let's talk about the actual um, uh, price watch, right? Like you mentioned earlier, the Goku Super Saiyan 3 <laughs> Goku, $100, $120. It's ridiculous. It goes back to what Tony has said earlier about these promos should have just been alt arts. Yeah. I really wish Bandai, if you're listening, I really wish if you if you guys would just do the P and Z version of promos and just do alt arts, because you need to include these cards in the set, yeah. or you need to do some way for people to get these cards, because I understand the supply and demand issue, but this this potentially might even kill the game. Yeah. I think it's, like, beyond unfair, and not just because they're overpriced as hell. Like, overprice them, that's fine. You know what I mean? Sell me a Black Lotus for $1,500,000. I don't give a shit. The problem is that we cannot find them. Like, <laughs> Well, because, again, it goes back to the pre-order stuff. I know I pre-ordered over 20 kits. Yeah. How many of us stores pre-ordered more than two kits? That's the issue. When people pre-order stuff, guys, you have to talk to your LGSs. If you're interested in something... Again, support your LGS first. I love you guys. I love the support. You have to support your LGS because they're the ones that put in the numbers in. Unless you move to the Florida area, to the Central Florida area, and come play a bearded, I, I can't help you when it comes to yeah. that stuff. 
I can't sell my kits out because then I'm going to be hurting my locals, and I'm not for that. So, um, exactly. what you've done and the way you've done it has like literally like I feel like I've seen a game progress from like literal infancy into like the early stages of birth, and it's like it skyrocketed. That's gross. Hey, man. <laughs> you know, so I mean, to give you a real visual here. One of the things I don't like, and I've heard of a store doing this down south. They won't be mentioned, so please don't mention the store. Um, so for charming kits, right? Um, they will give out eight or sixteen promos. What I, I I don't know what the number was, but they open up all the packs and let the people pick, going from first all the way down to whatever number. I mean, that's cute. Oh my god! I don't if, think that's fair. If, if oh. they, no, if the group no, thinks that's cool, not. that's fine. I think that's fine. I don't like that. Like playing Heroclix, that's what we used to do. We used to be like, here's the prizes. First place pick, second place pick. It's not as bad as I guess it sounds. I mean, if I was in ninth place, I wouldn't be so pissed if I got a free Vados or something. You know what I mean? I just, I don't know. Like, you know, the issue the issue between clicks and this is that usually in clicks, the prices of the LEs are not $100. Sure. Then you get people who grab it from my Yeah, game. I mean, yes. the fact that all of them are pretty much... It also makes plus. it a more competitive event, though. It does. Like, you're not just getting a pack for showing up. Now you were fighting for the $120 Broly, mm-hmm. which, I mean, I, I'm fine with it. I've, I'm, I've always been I, more into the competitive stuff. Well, you know, I, I usually hate it when people split. I like it when people play it out. I love it, because, I mean, yeah, I'm not into... Split. I'm not into participation prizes. I, I like, like it to be fair. Everyone gets trophies. And I think the fact that, like... Even if you have five hundred bucks, like the only way you can get four of these promos is if you either a find someone hopefully that will trade you a playset or wait for them to just show up on TCG Player. Which how long did that take for the promos to start showing up? Well, they were they were it there was like for at least three weeks, and well, I only saw one. Like, well, correct, they were there for three weeks, and then I had to tell them again that they need to separate the foils. For the yeah. non foils because I believe uh, Tim, one of our locals, ordered a Mecha Frieza, thirty bucks, got it foil. Wow. Mecha Frieza right now is seventy five dollars, seventy four, something like that. It is insane right now. So before we move on past the promos, they've already announced the second like wave set of them. Of them yeah. No, not the second wave. The second like yeah series. The, the next promo. So not only do we have a hard time getting series one that. We're still kind of really waiting for a reprint on. They're giving us a whole another set of eight. Yeah, that we have to now fight. Plus Bardock exists. Which includes a uh, uh, three-drop hit, which I'm excited about. So not only is there a three-drop hit, which will probably be really good. It'll probably be vanilla, and it'll be $100 because his name's hit. No. (laughs) But I'm saying... Yeah. It's it's going to do something. Be expensive because it's going to make the super rare people want to play because everyone Mm -hmm. loves hit with his dick-shaped head. Dude, he's good even just with the vanillas. Like... Well, would you play? I disagree with you. One and then play the big three drop that probably does like double strike. Yeah, play both of them, dude. dude. He probably KOs dudes. When he you, probably, you play both, dude. Are you I hope he KOs the dudes. The worst That'll problem I have yeah. with hit is getting the hits in my hand and having them ready. And at least with the Frieza deck, it's like having it by turn five. My biggest problem is always finding them, and that was there's no hit there. tutor, right? No, no, that'd be busted. No, there is. Isn't he an alien? No. Yes. Oh, there is a hit tutor, kind of. But it's not really a tutor. It's not really a tutor, it's just on attack. No. Both you can hit, you can hit the little hit, not the big hit. Yeah, you can. Yeah. He's talking about getting that hit in your hand. But yeah. you can with the two drop. Or because two in, drop most, in most strategies, we're actually feasibly running hit good. If it's not red, just beat your face in. Hopefully I play a hit and have seven mana and can evolve him right there and then. But the main thing is like using Frieza to do it. So it's like, by turn five, you want to have those cards in your hand, but it's like... You're already fighting for slots. Like having just that extra play set of small hits is going to put it. It's going to make it really easy to do. It's going to make it really easy to do. And he probably is really good. Every time I've won with card. the Frieza deck, it has been with evolving hit on turn four through six. Yeah, I'm trying if to find. If I don't do that, I just lose. But I'm, if I do do that, it wins me. I'm trying to find the rest of those promos or the images to kind of get a, a base for well, them. I'll go over these guys because the, the different effects. I mean, you want to go with these now? Well, I know the Vegeta. How long have we been problem. on here already? Uh, we hit an hour. It's yeah, just, you know, hour. red, green. Green's on Friday. It goes green. It looks like it goes green, yellow, then red. I'm excited for yellow, man. I'm just, just a deck of 56, no, sorry, 46 <laughs> meta coolers. 
<laughs> Yo, like, we're gonna have the, 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 the Frieza clan dudes now, and Here you're still go. not gonna be able to get medical leaders. Here we go. <laughs> so, guys, so the, so the new eight promos. That's what it is. We got. In the promo. We got um, <coughs> Majin Vegeta and Hit and Red. Uh, uh, Vegito and, and Super Saiyan Rose and Blue, uh, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, and Android 17 in green, and Frieza and Captain Ginyu in yellow. If I'm not mistaken, isn't that the Vegeta that combos and you put him into play? No. No? We don't okay. know what they said. That's why it's a secret. Okay. So, like, so that one's already been revealed then, so I'm just being Another dumb. thing I want to talk about, because I know we're going to wrap it up here soon. Everyone made fun of me for that Frieza. We're going to get a whole bunch of new Friezas. I'm gonna play my Which Frieza? the golden Frieza that wipes the board. Oh, dude, I think he's good. It's just most of the time yellow, like yellow's good. It's like you said on one of the earlier podcasts. Like the Ginyu is just so weak, which is what everybody was trying to go for because it's like that was obviously the aim of the yellow production. But like it's so weak because everything has to combo in to actually like do anything. Where it's like. You can't really, like, put more pressure on once that turn comes to the thing. And it's, like, in the aggro decks with, like, red-yellow, it's, like, you want to just go all in and run little mm-hmm. guys. So it's, sure. like, I but, mean, maybe in stall. Maybe but, in beer stall. But blue-yellow Frieza. You got four drop. Oh, yeah, blue-yellow Frieza. That's and then they just gave us the that SR yet. Frieza. Did you see the new SR Frieza? He wasn't on the list. We didn't talk about him. He was on the he's list. Blue. The Frieza's blue. He, he, was on, he was on the list. The blue Frieza? There's a gold Frieza that's blue. He wasn't on the spoiler thing. No, because these are just commons and uncommons, I believe. Oh. <laughs> yeah, spoilers. And rares. <laughs> so we the SRs are not released just yet. Free Golden Freeze was released. I'm, you guys didn't see the Golden Freeza? I no, may I have. Know does, I, I know yeah, tell does. me sure. immediately, because that sounds so spicy. So the Golden Freeza costs five. I want to say he's a 20k. When he enters play, you bounce one of your battle cards to your hand and bottom one of theirs. Yes. Which you can bounce Frieza if you want to. That's your only card. Does he evolve? No. No. But you can bounce your Boo, your Bulma, Ooh. whatever, Ooh. to replay. You can bounce the Frieza and use it as a five cost hard removal. If needed. Bounce Bardock or your killers and recast them again. Bounce somebody that you can replay that turn Majin, and attack again. A free Majin Boo draw? Oh, attack, play, attack. Like a late game, obviously. Attack bounce. <laughs> and he's a five drop, so you play him, do what he does, and then turn six, you play gold freeze on top of him and win the game. Sounds pretty good. Well, that blue freeze is really good. Yeah. So one of the things I forgot also forgot to talk about, guys, is that the booster packs, on the booster packs, we have uh, so, uh, Mersha Masu, Vegito, uh, for whatever reason, Cell is in there, and then we have... Uh, trunks. Um, rage Mode Trunks, we'll just call it that. I just the colors. No, no, there's no yellow. Never mind. Okay. No, no yellow. That's all. That's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, why is so it? We're definitely getting a cell leader, blue. so that's that's a definite. And so instead of so the term, because instead of getting play masses set, and I thought we were going to get deck boxes, because that's what what was discussed. Um, there was <laughs> actually taste fault in that one. <laughs> there's actually going to be sleeves, guys. So the villain sleeves and oh shit, is that what that is? Yeah, that looks, sick. looks pretty cool. And I can't mention what the other sleeves are going to be just yet, but oh. I'm actually. I wish they would do regular cooler instead of meta cooler right there. This isn't even meta cooler. This is Yo, like... I really like meta cooler. He no, looks like, like straight this. up that, like cyborg yeah, smoke. That, that, that's like, one. No, it looks dope. like uh, Deathstroke. Like, it's like fell in a bit of acid. Oh, sure. But that was meta cool when he was in the uh, Yeti Stark. <laughs> so when he was getting out. And... So, anyways. Um... Yo, know, that cooler package is going to be busted. That promo is going to jump. What's the last thing we're going to talk about? Now. New product. So, guys, new product. Bum, bum, bum. So we have um, stuff is coming out. Uh, set three, guys. Sh- should I even say the date on this? How are we? To- no, we haven't even like. Getting- <laughs> should I even say set three? I'm not gonna say set three. <laughs> I'm not gonna call it out when it comes out. I'll, I'll leave that for spoiler for next week because yeah, I think uh, I think uh, we have to wrap it up. As well as I can safely mention. I think <laughs> after this original draft box, there's kind of another one coming. Really? Jeez. Yes. Well, Tony, I, I, I understand that you were so excited when I mentioned that. 
<clears throat> I know you're you're feeling that. Man, I bet you're excited, man. Raul's about to come in here and just drop <laughs> loads onto you, bro. <laughs> Make it rain. <laughs> Make it rain beard hair. So, guys, so something I won't mention just yet, and I, and I don't know if these guys saw it, is, a, is the uh, set three release uh, month um, is out there. Um, if you have a if you have an account, you guys more free to spoil it, but. Um, yeah. That's all I gotta say for that. I'm assuming because it's Bandai, they're pushing quick. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty assuming. much just looking at the time that it's taken between set one and two. I mean, you can I pretty much... do that. Not with this company. Hey, you know, I don't know. I've played... Yeah, I mean... I've only played Magic, Final well, Fantasy... And... Well, remember, not Square Enix. No, so. Yeah, exactly. Bro. What? <laughs> What's with the hate, man? Trust me, oh, I do. What's the hate? I love me some final four Fantasy, sets in a row. Phoenix. Four <laughs> sets in a row. Three. They delayed. You have a set four. It's not delayed. It was changed. It wasn't like surprise. Apologies. Set one was delayed. Don't know if you know that. Guys, do you remember? Do you remember Kingdom well, Hearts? Me the first set. Yeah, I know. I know. Kajit over here remembers Kingdom Hearts. You remember how long it took for that fucking game to come out? Because <laughs> <laughs> I remember waiting for it. <laughs> it was like, oh, Advent Children's coming out in like two years. <laughs> <laughs> Seven years later. Cleave, <laughs> Cleave, you got anything to say before we wrap this up? Yo. <laughs> <laughs> What's the opposite of yo before leaving? I don't know. Yo. Yar. Josh, you got anything to say? Final words? Uh it's well, your first time on a podcast. Place. I will kill you. Jeez. <laughs> How much do we have left in this meta? In this this meta? Next month. Jeez. I guess enjoy... Literally... If anybody's looking for cheap Asian labor. <laughs> 30 days. <laughs> wait, wait, great way to throw yourself out there. Guys, if anybody has employment, Josh is looking. Anything yep. else, Josh? Nah. Want you know, somebody to make you a sandwich or I mean, something? I'll pretty much do anything. I'll go I'm hit them streets right now. Let's do this. <laughs> All right. We won't be broadcasting illegal activities. Oh, we'll be broadcasting. <laughs> <laughs> you guys <laughs> might, might not be broadcasting. I'll be broadcasting. <laughs> <laughs> not like <me> <laughs> Tony, anything else you want to add? Last final words? Um, freeze is good. Freeze is good. Yeah? Good. Um, I'm excited to see if a god deck is actually relevant. Because I don't know if playing that guy for seven and wiping your own board is going to be worth it. And, uh... They don't come in taps, though. Yes, they do. Oh. Xenobrite. Mm. No. Can't do it in turn. And then L5R is coming out this week. Dungeon of the Five Rings. What's that? It's another card game, because we just had, like, ten in the last year come out. Yeah, it won't be getting... Healthy economy, guys. Healthy economy... Anything else? L five R, you could buy the set for hundred bucks. Well, I mean, it is a it's considered what, a living card game, right? Yes. So you don't. Have, there's like no other cards you have to buy. They they sell sets that you can buy the whole set. I was talking to these guys. You get about hundred bucks at the whole initial first set. Then there's expansion every month for twelve dollars. So it's like paying for an MMO. So it's a subscription service. Sort of. <laughs> but it's only if you want those cards. You know what I'm saying? And then like. <laughs> Why are you laughing, Josh? What are you laughing? Is not, there something you're going to show us? I not expecting Mace would do. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Saw, saw. <laughs> oh, that's not what I saw. Oh, no. <laughs> I saw the card, so... I was, just, yeah, card. I was not expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> it was just like Mace Windu's face. Like, oh, come on. Like, yeah. Somebody all targeted the Mace Windu to be... <laughs> Samuel Jackson from Pulp Fiction. I can't remember what his it's like name the best, was. Dude. Yeah. It's like watching those video game videos online. <laughs> So, guys, um, my final <laughs> words for me is that I can't wait for set two to drop. Um, it's going to be a crazy shipping day that day. Going to be taking that day off again. Crazy. The amount of stuff that's on pre-order, ridiculous. So All going to Raul. <laughs> <laughs> Every last bit. No, Ra- Raul just needs to work on lowering my bill. You know what I mean, Raul? He's in a wonder wine province. He, will, he works for my cell phone provider. So technically, Raul, I'm paying for your I'm paying for your salary. You better do something for me. Verizon. <laughs> so, um, besides that, guys, remember uh, support your LGS. If your LGS is not want to support you, support the beard. But guys, you have to support your LGSs to get the product, to get the stuff, to to get the the tournament stuff. Because if they start allocating tournament kits, 
I hope they kind of do or even limit saying that before a store gets one Charming Kit, they have to buy X amount of boosters. You may think that's crappy, but it is not because it will prevent the scalpers from being able to buy these Charming Kits yeah. for a cheap price, flip them, sell them, and then the it's, it's shit. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hope they do this because for Pansy, before I got one Charming Kit from a distributor, I had to buy three cases. And guess what? I always had Charming Kits because I bought a lot. Yep. It's also you, you part of the reason it. why the prices are so high for the promo. Exactly. Yeah, and the coming soon Goku, dude. I, the, like, that was such a serious thing. Like, oof. So... Are also not even good. Yeah. <laughs> so remember, guys, support your LGSs. If, you're, uh, if you can't support your LGS, support the beard. Otherwise, this is Alex from Beard Collectibles. Love you guys. Grow out the beards. And uh, talk to you guys soon.